So today guys, I guide you into a quick method in leveling up and reaching that world tier 15. I mean, yes, this isn't a five minute job. I don't think anybody expects that. But this guide will allow you to be a level 30 and a world tier 15 in as quick a time as possible. How's it going people? My name is DPG and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So I will state, this kind of thing isn't for me. But I do know people and many people out there love doing this kind of thing. And what it does allow you to do is basically earn a ton of XP which helps progress world tier and also at the same time keeps your gear in check so you can always be at that top level. So this guide consists of you killing things, many things tons of enemies then go on and farming one of two specific ways to progress your armor so those ads you keep killing stay easy to kill now this farm was originally uploaded by my pal easy now 1337 as a material farm and it's just great for that his channel can be found link below if you do want to check him out and show him some love since then i have seen a few other people post about this for xp but just using this spot over and over you will eventually get to a point where the enemies are too high of a level for you to kill and do this efficiently due to the world tier progression but i have a solution for that too okay so the enemy farm is pretty simple from the main lobby select the story point of the first city this is real early on so almost everyone can do this then you want to select the point of reach the other side of the river once you load this up use this short route and you will eventually be welcomed by a ton of ads and these dudes just keep coming as you progress on more and more will appear and at the end of this short run there will be a mini boss who is also easy to kill and once you are done with him guys there are a couple of chests you can grab here too or you could guys if you ain't really fussed about world tier you could use this spot this spot alone just to level up your class your class level i mean this works absolute wonders for that also in reality you can use this as you please but if you do want to use this to level up your world tier at the same time, this is absolutely great for that, especially within the early stages of the game. Jane doing? She's barely hanging on. I'm doing what I can, but she'll make it. She has to.
Now once you've grabbed those chests, don't progress over the bridge. Quit out to the lobby and repeat the process of selecting the same story points, confirming it and continuing it on and while well, rinse and repeat this until your world tier progresses. And do this until you get to a stage where the enemies are just too hard to kill or it's becoming less efficient. Now once you are at the stage where the enemies feel super strong, this is what you should do. Go and farm armour and weapons which are at the height of the enemies level. I'm sure you now understand how the world tiers work. As they go up, so does that of the enemies plus levels over you. But at the same time within the same world tier, the loot also drops at a max at the same level. It's this tier at these levels in which you need to obtain to continue on progressing by earning XP and continue leveling up the world tier. So the places I suggest are the AHS farm and the OG Vanguard Captain. These are incredible places you can farm that easy loot. The chests in my opinion will probably work better for you and for this guy due to not having to fight anything and in turn not dying and repeating a farm over and over like you do with the captain. But we'll get to that in a second. So the 8 chest farm sees you gain 8 chests in around 3 minutes and it's so simple to do. So from the lobby screen, select the story point of Eagle Peaks and load into the 4th point of Speak to Jacob. Upon spawning in, run to this fast travel flag as I do. Then travel to Bonka Peaks. Like From here, follow the route I take on screen now. Ok guys so once you've grabbed all 8 chests it's as simple as returning to the lobby, loading up the same story point again and rinsing and repeating. It's as simple as that and do this until your gear gets high enough for you to take out the adds within the XP farm where you cross that river. So yes then just go back to the XP farm same way I said earlier and rinse and repeat the process guys. Now I will state the OG Vanguard Captain is a great farm for that loot in terms of earning higher level gear to go back and do the XP farm with but you do have to die to repeat the farm over and over I mean like I said you earn tons of loot but at the same time you also lose world tier progression on the bar now if you decide to farm higher gear just as you hit that next world tier the vanguard captain is the better option but if you're halfway through that progression bar then the HS farm is easily the better option 
But the Vanguard Captain Farm is one I covered earlier today, and I'll showcase a snippet of that video and how you get there, which you'll see on screen now. So to get to this mission, this is what you need to do. From your lobby, select the story point of Rift Town, and this is very early on, so more or less everybody can do this. Then select the point of meet with Jacob and Shira at her command room. Load this up and head to that point of interest on the map. Once you get here, obviously cut all the cutscenes, and then just follow the path I take. Now what you want to do here guys is put this into a much lower world tier because at first you will have to clear out a few ads and if you plan on using this farm you're probably having problems with ads already. So lower that world tier until you get to the captain then switch it back up to the highest world tier you have unlocked. Now for me with this dude I was just using a fully auto shotgun on my abilities even at two levels lower I was just absolutely drilling him. Then once you've killed him, you can kill a few of the other ads, but then let the others kill you. Then you literally spawn right outside the encounter and you can rinse and repeat this. I mean, you can kill this captain literally every 20, 30 seconds. Rinse and repeat. It is that simple. I mean, he doesn't guarantee to drop those epics, but they do drop a ton. But either way, those blues, those epics, whatever, they will all help you in terms of getting your armor and weapons up to that level of what the enemy you are facing. And that's what this farm is all about. But yeah guys, this is an amazing farm and definitely one of the best. Just for the simple fact, it's a quick kill, rinse and repeat. So yeah guys, using these methods will see you fly up those world tiers and those character class levels. Now like I said at the start of the video, this isn't the kind of thing I'll use as I want to take my time. But if this is for you, then enjoy it people. Now if you're an early starter and you haven't gotten to Eagle Peaks yet, which is past First City, then you can always use the OG chess farm from the demo. I will link that video down below guys. But yes, if this video helps you out, leaving a like really helps me out. It is a super quick way in leveling up. I mean, there's probably quicker ways out there, but not from the start of the game, in my opinion. You'll probably have to progress far into the game before you can earn tons of XP like this. So yeah, if it does help you out, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or stream, make sure you turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.